Hello everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. I'm really struggling, I've got a bad throat, but I really want to open this parcel because if I don't like it, I need to send it back. So excuse me if my voice does go because I'm really not feeling that well today. But ta -da! we're in a position in my kitchen. Um, I've treated myself to something and I'm really, really excited to open it. I can't wait. The story behind it is, it's my... I can't even get this box open. It's my daughter's 10th birthday in a couple of days time. And we were discussing handbags. I love handbags so much. And she said, seeing as she was 10, and obviously I brought her into the world, she kind of said that maybe I needed a 10 year treat as well. And I saw this bag come up for sale and I thought, yeah, maybe my little room is right. Maybe after 10 years, I do need a treat. <laughs> so I'm hoping this bag will be special so that I can kind of keep it and think, yeah, I bought this when my daughter was 10, uh, fingers crossed. Although my daughter herself is my little prize, bless her. She's wonderful. Right, so we don't really need prizes, do we? Or presents for 10 years, but it was just nice to think that I'd got something that marked her turning 10. Obviously she's getting those presents, but I just, I think mothers do have to go through something. It's hard work. <laughs> right, so that's the story behind it. I can't, I can't actually even get into the box. <laughs> if I get into the box, will I open it up? Oh dear. It's very well packed. Um, I don't even know if I've only done the right side. We're not doing very well, are we? Right, hang on. Right, I finally think we've got in it. Good. Yeah, I have. I didn't want to rip the box just in case I want to return it. So here we go. It's rather a large box to say, but it's a really, really small bag. Wow. <laughs> I bought some white sausages. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14 sausages, and one little handbag. Look how small the handbag is compared to all the packaging. Well, 10 out of 10 for packaging. So, this is a make. I've only ever had one bag before of this make. Um, so, it's a little Miss Chloe, and it's a Chloe Nile bracelet bag. And ta da! It's probably going to be too small, but it just looks so sweet. Look at it. Oh, I'm probably about two years too late to this handbag addiction because I think these were very, very popular a couple of years ago. Um, and I know they can still be really expensive. Um, but I, I just fancied something a bit different. And obviously I don't own a bag like this. The only other bag I own that's similar to this is a Mulberry Amberley, which is a similar sort of round shape. So this reminds me of a horseshoe, so obviously I was lucky to have a daughter because I already got a son as well, bless him, so I was lucky to have a daughter to have one of each, so the horseshoe I thought was lucky. Um, I liked the silver hardware for a change because a lot of my bags have got gold hardware, so it's got this lovely little tiny thing, little circle that says Chloe on it, it's got this lovely, it's like a double hoop. And again, a, a lot of it does remind you of horse riding equipment, sort of stirrups and bridles and stuff. And then, I don't, I don't know why it splits. I'm not sure whether there's a reason. I think it's just so it folds over. Um, and then it's got the Chloe logo on the front and then it's got all this chrome on the front as well. And these lovely little studs. I mean, it is tiny, as you can see, it's a tiny little bag. Um, I suppose it's more for probably going out, but I thought if I can just fit um, a few bits and bobs in it, then it'll be fine. So it's still got its original tag with it as well. It's got one big compartment, or tiny compartment, and one little slip pocket at the back. It comes with a long strap. So again, you can wear it crossbody and on your shoulder, and it just... This, the whole bag does feel so luxurious. Like even the clips have got these little bits of leather on them. Um, this strap's absolutely beautiful. 
absolutely lovely. So I'll clip it up and then uh, we'll test it out for size. It's so pretty. Mm. It's so nice. What a lovely little bag. Right. I love the chrome, the chrome is so nice. So I'm five foot six, about a size 12 on a good day. So that's it on my shoulder. And again, because it's not a chain strap, the shoulder strap won't dig in. So that's it on my shoulder. So it's really, really comfy like so. And then obviously it has got an adjustable strap, so I can adjust this long strap. So that's it. Crossbody. I think that's really nice crossbody. That's lovely. And then sometimes you can spin it behind you. Um, and then obviously what you're supposed to do is carry by the little bracelet which hangs from the top. Um, it doesn't spin all the way around, it just sort of dangles from side to side. Um, holds in your hand really comfy and then obviously it fits in the crook of your arm ever so comfy actually a lot more comfy than i thought it would be that's really really cute so i'm just going to go and fetch my purse and see if that will fit in it right i fetched my other bag that i'm using at the minute which is my red marmont gucci size small so i've got my sunglasses and my little gucci purse um and my reusable shopping bag that my son brought me bless him so if most of this fits in here, then it's a winner. I'm sure my purse will fit in here, right. I know some people have sort of said, because I did watch some reviews before I bought it, um, they struggle a bit because the top's sort of narrower than the bottom. So here's my little purse. That fits in there fine. I don't think my sunglasses are gonna fit in here. Um, let me try my sunglasses first. The leather of it smells so nice and I'm full of cold, so. Um, I can smell the leather, so the leather must be really nice. Well, my sunglasses have gone in. I don't think I'd fit much else in. I don't want to break my sunglasses thing on. Actually, I've got it in. So I've put it in sideways. Um, it still fastens up. So I can get my sunnies in. <gasps> That's always like um, a bit of a decider for me. And then there is just enough room down the side that my little reusable shopping bag will fit. Like so. We're in. Woo! We're in. <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. <gasps> oh, I love this bag so much. It's so lovely. And then obviously it's got a slip pocket on the back. So I suppose if you've got your phone or anything else you wanted to just slip in the back of it you could do um oh i can't believe i got my sunglasses in there you wouldn't think that would you um obviously i don't have to take my sunglasses with me but i do like to have my sunglasses with me if not i can leave them in the car but wow what do we think does it like feel really special would it make a nice thing to keep obviously it's sort of thing i had this when my daughter was 10. it's so lovely <laughs> So what do we think? Oh, I love the chrome. It almost reminds you of a tower rail, doesn't it? I used to have a chrome tower rail. <laughs> like a little chrome tower holder. It does look a bit like that. But it's just so lovely. And I thought in winter, if you had a really chunky jumper on with like chunky sleeves and stuff, it would look really nice. And oh, it's a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, it's so lovely. And obviously it's got like this snake skinny pattern on the front. Um, I don't own any other snake skin, I don't think. I have got a smaller Kurt Geiger little purse that's actually snake skin. So that's smaller than my Gucci purse. So that might fit in here even better. So yay. So thank you so much for watching. It's amazing how a little bag can fit so much stuff. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. So I love you and leave you, and at least my voice lasted out, and I'll speak to you soon, my darlings. Bye!